Okie dokie, so in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create better looking pie charts all in Adobe Illustrator. Hey guys, you're watching Dansky, the place to be to develop your creative skills. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create better looking pie charts all in Illustrator. And I did a video similar to this a while ago, it got a lot of love. It also got a lot of criticism. A lot of people thought that I should have used the pie chart tool. And whilst it's true, Illustrator does have a variety of different graph tools. Well, we are designers, we are creatives. We're not simply just gonna enter data into some Excel style spreadsheet. And whilst it's true, you might be able to create a graph that is more accurate, that is more data driven than ours. Ours will be better, it will be brighter, more magnificent than anything you can possibly imagine. And maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but one day we will too far? Uh, too far. Okay, so uh, designer revolution aside, should we just jump into Illustrator and I'll show you how to do this. Rightio, so we're now in Adobe Illustrator. I have a new artboard, 1920 by 1080. And the first thing I'm going to do is grab the ellipse tool from the toolbar on the left. Left click and hold shift to draw a circle. We'll make this nice and big. This is going to be the size of our pie chart. And I'm gonna select the stroke set that to none and just double click on the fill and we'll give this a color so we'll just go with yellow for now click ok now this is something that i didn't find out until very recently there's a hidden panel that enables you to create pie charts so easily in illustrator can't wait to show you this so over here on the right we have the transform panel okay you can move the x the y position width height rotation all this good stuff but if you go down here Specifically for circles, you get this added option. So you can click this and we get all these different pie chart options. So we can adjust the ellipse angle, the pie start angle, the pie end angle. And if I change this, you can see it actually takes a segment of pie out of the circle. And we can click on this little double ended arrow here to invert that selection. So this is great. We can actually create accurate pie charts really easily. So what I'm gonna do is if uh, I change this to 90, for example, and you can, of course, click in the box, enter your own value, or use the up and down arrow keys to manually adjust this, but I'll keep mine at 90 for now. So great, we have a nice quarter segment taken out of our pie. So what I'm gonna do is hold Alt or Option and drag, and also hold Shift as well, just to keep it in line. That will create a copy. And on this copy, if I go to that transform panel again, what I'll do is I'll change the end. So we'll put the end as 90 and essentially swap this around. So there we go. We've got a new pie segment. And I'm gonna double click on the color picker. We'll just pick a different color. And then what I can do now is I can actually bring this one out again. So Alt Option and drag holding Shift. Go to that transform panel. And maybe we'll change this to 45. So I'm just gonna keep halving it. And then the one over here, we'll change this one from 90 to 45. And there we go, we can pop that one back in. Maybe I could change the color. We'll change this to like a, a purple or something. So as long as everything you create adds up like to a complete circle and there's no gaps, then you can adjust these values and just create a pie chart. Um, as you need to. But remember, it's not data driven or anything like that. So if you do want to do that, use use the damn pie chart tool if you really want to. But if you kind of have a rough idea, like I know that this quarter segment is 25% of the circle. And then if I half that, like I've done here, half of 25%, that's 12.5%. Hopefully I've done that correctly, but you can kind of roughly work it out. Okay, so we have a pie chart. I'm gonna pop this back in the middle. And I'm actually gonna rotate mine. So just hover over the corner, rotate. And I'm gonna hold shift. So it just snaps that rotation to 45 degree increments. So I want my two extra segments to be pointing down. Now, if I select all of these and go to effect, 3D, extrude and bevel, this window pops up here. I can check preview from the bottom and I can adjust the 3D extrude and bevel for my pie. But you can see everything is just going all over the place. So we'll cancel that. First thing we're gonna do is go up to object and group. So we'll group our three 
pieces of pie all together. In fact, I'm just gonna move this over here just so you can see what's happening. So we'll do that again, effect, 3D extrude and bevel. There we go, that's a little bit better. We'll check preview. And you can see now as I move this around here, all the segments move around together. So you can adjust the angle depending on how you'd like your pie to look. For me personally, I like to just set all of these to zero. There we go. So we're completely flat again, and then I'm just gonna rotate on this. So the top one here, this is the X axis. You can enter a value, or you can just click and drag. So you're looking for the red lines. We'll drag this up. And we're just gonna keep dragging like so, depending on the angle that you'd like for your pie. Now we can also go down to extrude depth. We can click in here and enter a different value, and you can see it makes your pie taller. Or we can just click and drag the slider depending on how high you'd like to make it. Now, you'll also see we've got quite a lot of banding on this pie. If we go down to the shading here, we have this at plastic shading. You can switch to diffuse, it looks very, very similar. Now, the reason we get the banding is we have the blend steps at 25 by default. So that is, Illustrator is trying to blend the darker areas and the lighter areas to kind of create this 3D effect with only 25 steps. So you can only get so much color in there and you get that banding, which doesn't look great. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna increase this by dragging this up. This will add more, essentially more steps, more colors into that graduation from dark to light. And you can see there, the more I increase this, yes, it will be a little bit more demanding on your computer, but not by much, I don't think, in most cases, and you just get a much smoother gradient. So what we're gonna do is, well, we're actually not gonna use plastic shading, but that's just a nice little tip to know if you want to go that route. You could just click OK, there you go, your pie chart's done, but we're gonna just make the colors look a little bit better. So let's just select no shading, click OK. And you can see that we've actually lost all definition of our pie chart. We have no shading whatsoever. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna add my own color. So if I select this, it's still grouped. Let's just go up to object. First we'll expand the appearance so the appearance of the paths actually match what we're seeing on screen. There we go, fantastic. If you want to check this you can go into outline mode which is command or control Y on the keyboard. There we go, the paths match what we're actually seeing so that's good. And next I'm just going to select this and go to object, ungroup and just maybe ungroup this a few times just to be sure and then I can pull all of this apart looks good to me. Now what I can do is start applying color to these individual pieces. So I'm just gonna hold shift and select these two segments, the colored ones, and hold shift and use the down arrow key just to nudge these out the way. I'm gonna work on this one first. So I can just select this top piece now, double click the color picker, and I've got some colors here. So we're gonna go F, D, D, zero, zero, zero. Click OK or press return. There we go, a little bit brighter. Now these ones here, these are gonna be darker. So I've gone with EC9509. So that's on the inside, so it's gonna be a little bit darker. And we'll just select the ones on the outside, FFAB15, press return. And there we go, so we have some pie. Now I can go and tweak this for sure. I could maybe double click on this. Bring that down a little bit. So there's lots of different ways that you can tweak the colors. But you can see just by doing this, and we haven't even shaded this, this is still using solid color. It just, in my opinion, looks a, a bit more appealing than using that uh, original default 3G extrude effect with kind of black as the shadow coming through. We could go and add some shadow ourselves if we wanted using the gradient tool, but I'm gonna keep this as solid colors for now. And I've got these two colors down here. So what I'm gonna do is I have this purple now to pick a slightly darker version or a lighter version, what I like to do is just move in a diagonal. So you can see I'm here. To pick a slightly darker one, I would just go down and to the right a little bit. Click OK. And then you get something that looks really nice and complements the lighter shade as well. This works in most cases. We could even go lighter. So just up and to the left. Uh, of course, that doesn't really make sense in this example because I want it to be darker, so it's consistent between the two halves, but that's how I like to pick colors. So if you're going darker down and to the right, lighter up and to the left. 
And then what I can do, this looks like a bit of a cheese wedge actually. You can't see this, but this actually looks like a, a block of cheese. So I'm gonna hold shift and use the arrow keys to nudge this back up. And you could have these just kind of down a little bit if you wanted to kind of pull one piece of pie out and then label it and talk about that specifically, depending on what you're using this for. Or we could just put it all the way back together. And well, this is using single color. As I mentioned, we could graduate this a little bit. So if I select the top part here of the pie, I'll click the gradient tool and we can click freeform gradient and we get these three points up. Now, if I just select one, double click the color picker and we'll enter a color. So what was that? FDD000, press return. And then I'm just gonna double click all of these, FDD000. So I'm just adding the same yellow color for all of them. So again, we have our solid color. And then what I can do is actually just click on one of them, double click the color picker, and we can't go up anymore, but we can go to the left a little bit like this. Click OK, and you can see it adds a very subtle highlight, and we could actually go and accentuate that even more. And then we can move this around in real time. So if you wanted to add shading, whether it's shadows, highlights, or like a light source onto your pie, just to give it a bit more depth, something like this, then uh, that's something that you can do depending on the type of pie that you're trying to create. But there we go. That's how to create better looking pie charts all in Adobe Illustrator. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions or comments, you know what to do, drop those down below. But as always, like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.